We are Simeon Mobile Disco. We're currently in the deep end of a swimming pool in Berlin. About to uh, show you around our live setup as we're going to do a gig tonight. We've been touring for a long time with the uh, the live rig, and it's uh, it's kind of had lots of changes and it's evolved in lots of different ways. And uh, yeah, we just we felt that it was an interesting time for us to document. Uh, one of the gigs along the way. I think our live show is quite flexible and it's quite uh, different um, each night, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, we were really keen to um, just, like just said, take a snapshot of it. The, the live versions have come to sound really quite different from the recorded versions. There's a pad at the front that um, <laughs> means we can program patterns on the fly, so, you know, we can sort of put in whatever we think is right for that moment. The old tracks, the way we play them, it just naturally makes them fit in with the new stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, you make different decisions on uh, what sounds you use on the synths and like what drum patterns you use. And then, you know, maybe if it's a snippet of a vocal that like links it back to that old track. One, one of the reasons why we stand opposite each other is because a lot of the, the kind of, although we have an idea of what tracks we're gonna play, the, the, the transitions between them and how long we play them for, is pretty much up for grabs and so some nights it goes well and we play them for a long time some nights not so well on the jams and yeah. you just you know you just like if, if we're facing each other you just on the nod you can be like like this is done with this stuff you never really have it properly under control um, there, there are a few things that generally work but pretty much every night something goes wrong and, and part of what is interesting is uh, letting it go wrong and following it rather than worrying about it and trying to make it exactly like it was the previous night ha exactly halfway in between djing and playing live you know that you're obviously playing like a a dj for like you know playing club music essentially and obviously there's kind of the dynamics that go with that but it also feels a lot more flexible and a lot, a lot more live if there's a like a bit that's going well like a breakdown you know you can extend it and make the most out of it or if something isn't going so well you can skip over it or you know you can change the mix of the the song for the room you know we can take everything out apart from just the the kick drum and the bass this is the mixing desk everything comes into the mixing desk the, these are controllers which basically control the the structure of the whole thing first of all we've got the 909 here which is like a classic drum machine. This is how we program it generally, so say you want to put a clap in, you do that. Um, and, you know, hi-hat pattern here. Then you can send it to lots of different effects, like um, delay, which is all this stuff. All the bass is generated by the big box over there. Modular. I'm going to trigger a bass pattern here. So, um, so this is like a, a software sequencer that we use that controls. Uh, this, which is another synth. You know, all those different controls. Um, yes, that's it really, and then you just build the track.
How was it fun? <laughs> <laughs>